<laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. Background, movie, action. From the producers of the Academy Award winner for Best Picture comes the new original series, Crash. Bobby and I always dreamed that uh, someday it'd be a TV series, and we're really thrilled that it is. When they asked Paul and I if we, we wanted to make it into a series, we had no idea how to do it. We wrote the movie, and we, we, we moved on from there. A terrific writer in Glenn Rosaro who had a real take on how to make it happen. All right, cut. Very good. Let's go tighter. Instead of developing a show that was based on the film, I went back to the type of storytelling that I found within the film. He found a unique point of view with which to enter the show with these characters, these storytelling that uh, is somewhat like the movie, but it's its own animal in a great way. The one thing I regretted from uh, doing it as a film is, is not watching the characters continue. And uh, so I'm really glad that Glenn was able to come on and, and recreate this in his own image and, and tell some really interesting stories that uh, are around the themes of what Bobby and I started. And action. You know, the first ghetto was in Venice, Italy, for the Jews, because their Christian neighbors despised them, so they were a force to live apart. But they educated their young, they took care of their poor. Does that describe what happens where you come from? These characters are terrific, and the storytelling's terrific, and anybody who wants to direct wants to have that in his hand. I mean, I cannot wait until we, we get each script because I, I have no idea what's gonna happen. No, I don't know where the script's going. Every week I look at it and I go, are you kidding? Do I hear an opportunity to learn from one of the most successful music mavericks ever? What do I hear here? An offer to forego a boy's dreams to live on the same dirty streets where he was born, be thrown down on them by cops for driving while black. We're just pushing the envelope as far as we can. It's sexy, it's edgy, it's raw, it's unlike anything. Nothing is off limits. Uh, you have to be willing to talk about race, you have to be willing to talk about sex, you have to be willing to talk about class. Is that a problem? I'm just trying to get to know you better. So you want to ask me personal questions about my single mother home, then that's going to cost you extra. I said to everybody, you know what? What are those stories you want to tell? What are the stories that don't fit on any other show? If that's the feeling we have in the writer's room, then we know that's, that's the direction we should be going in. There are mysteries that are set up in the first episode that will be paid off in episode 13. Be dumb enough to rob Kyo. You tell us. So seeing those things come together at the end, I think will make the whole, watching the whole 13 very, very rewarding and surprising. I'll make it a clean shoot in the line of duty. Crash is going to be a very distinctive show in, in the world of television. You're going to see journeys that are, are not particularly typical for a television series. We have Cesar coming up from Guatemala, cutting through Mexico. He's willing to fight and kill and risk his life to achieve the American dream. Tamil medallion. Then we have characters like Christine, who has achieved the American dream. Cheers, honey. She has a marriage, a family, nice house. She's completely dissatisfied, so she wants more. And that's a story about a woman trying to find herself and find her voice. Ben Sanders is a guy who has achieved the American dream many times over, and he still wants more, not because he's greedy, but because he's afraid of becoming irrelevant. You shined out here. I don't shine anymore. My character, which is a, a Phil Spector spinoff, constantly playing with guns, threatening people with knives. He's totally off the wall and out of control. Sold to that crazy motherfucker! He's looking for a, the next big new phenomenon. He hires a, a young man from the Watts area to be his what are, driver. What are you doing here? And it's a really interesting relationship. So what you been uh, working on? I've been going through a, a fallow period. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Ben Sanders uh, is trying to find out, even in his latter years, kind of who he is and see something in Anthony that he saw in himself when he was young. For some reason or another, he decides to give this kid a shot. Ben Sanders, I know who you are. Anthony's at a crossroads in his life. You know, I mean, there's, with all of us, there's where you are and where you want to be. You see a black dude with a naked bitch and right off, I'm a pimp? 
Stupid. Whatever. I should mom. knock you the fuck out. Or back man. the fuck off, dude, or you may be the one we have to take out of here. With Eddie, he's stereotyped and stigma into being a very harsh, kind of bad character because of his past. Don't do anything stupid. Shut up! It's those difficulties um, when you're trying to fit in or you're trying to get along and you're just trying to be the person that you want to be. He's definitely trying to transition into a better life. A shitty job carrying dirty bed pads around for some mom and pop's EMT company. The American dream, isn't that right? He comes from the streets. He, he loves the street. He knows the streets. And he's a survivor. Pull over every slant eye guy driving a shit box with pants hanging below his ass. See what kind of shit we can stir up. He's married. He's got this, you know, love affair going on. I love you. Stop. I mean it. Oh. I'm trying to end a relationship that started as just fun and games. Yeah, I know you and Ashley were going through it, all right? I just, well, you know, I'm here for you. Pass. She's a very passionate person with a very strong sense of fairness. Ultimately, she's very compassionate because she knows that nobody's perfect. I'm shutting this down. Including herself. <laughs> you busted two other daddies and fucked a member of the royal family. I thought Inez was Hispanic. Latina. What? He's a little bit of a bad boy, yeah. He's got good intentions. He just uh, has a funny way of showing them sometimes. Are you pulling us over after what you did? Ma'am, I know you're a handful, so I'm gonna ask you to restrain yourself today. I don't think Kenny knows he's doing an awful lot wrong. Like, you should talk. I think he believes that he can get away with what he gets away with, and as long as nobody knows about it, everybody will be fine. I think this is a prime example of, you know, you can't kind of lie your way through life because you will get found out, and the consequences are huge. I love playing with the idea that we brush up against people and don't really know who they are, but we judge them, and we often judge them harshly. Tell me why you're stopping me. Step out of the car, sir. You stopped me for no reason. Get out of the car now. I think this is what's, what's beautiful about the show, that captured the, the truth, the rawness of everything. So you see real life, real people. What we don't realize in life is that constantly all our actions are affecting other people as well. We as human beings have a lot of power with one single action. Give me the gun. Six degrees of separation, right? And whether we recognize it or not, it's true. And uh, that's what you'll experience with Crash. We're a land of immigrants. We're a land that was founded on the American dream. That's what America is. Everybody is chasing that thing that they think will make them happy, that thing that will turn back the clock. I don't know if that's Shangri-La, but I know one thing, it's a real exciting thing because all of us want to find that. The thing that turns our lives around, the thing that we wake up in the morning and say, okay, now I got it. That's a great reason to write a show. To the future. Yes, sir. For sure, for sure. The lies that we tell ourselves, the pretenses that we put on every day, those get stripped away and people have to really take a look in the mirror or take a look at who the people are in their lives and make decisions about whether or not this is where they really should be. At least have the decency to be straight with yeah, me. You make me a bad guy all you want, but I'm being honest. I love you. You're gonna leave your wife? Yeah. <clears throat> if we get inside their souls and we know and understand and have empathy for the thing that they need, we will root for them in such a big way. And when they fail, it will kill us because we will have hoped for them to succeed. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, crazy. You're a doctor. Help them. I'm an EMT. There is a duality to all of us. None of us are angels. None of us are complete devils. When were you going to tell him to go back to his wife and child? Or when were you going to come to my house and beg forgiveness for all the shit that you put us through? In each person, there is a hero and there is a villain. One day, you could be the best person in the world, and the next day, you can't believe what you did. Have you ever cocked a gun, Anthony? Hey, God, that's the one for me. Working with Dennis Hopper, I learn a lot from him just from watching him. I mean, he comes alive every time he says a line. It's so realistic, and I, I blurted out laughing during a take today. Mission accomplished. I have to jolt myself back into the scene and remember that we're doing a job. The hardest part about working with Dennis is trying to hold it together. It's hilarious. Now tell me, Delphi. Do you see my doom? Well, then roll us a fucking joint. <laughs> now that I understand. We have some great talent here directing and writing and acting, so it should, uh, should be really interesting. There's really been a synergy between all the creative elements involved in this show. This cast is truly unbelievable. It's just exciting to me to have an ensemble. I, I also think it brings a lot to the table for the viewer. 
We're all very, very passionate about the piece and, and passionate about each other. There, there's no other, better way to work. I worked K-Town for a lot of years now, and I've always been impressed with the respect Koreans have for one another. It's something that I think viewers are going to be looking forward to and needing to see week in and week out. Just a tip now, baby. Oh, you have no idea. All new characters with the same sort of interconnectivity that uh, uh, is a signature of Crash. <laughs> Yeah, we are pushing the boundaries. Yeah, these people go to these lengths to fuck you up at work. You think they're going to stop there? Your wife, your home, and your family. Think about that. Maybe even before you unzip your prick next time. It's just an unbelievable roller coaster ride, and it's very, very unpredictable. Even though we show a lot of crisis and a lot of insanity, these are characters you root for. People are going to be, they're going to be blown away with what they see. And they're gonna be disturbed. <laughs> they're gonna be disturbed with some of the stuff we come up with. Be in a good way. Yeah, I think it'll be beautiful. It'll be something like nothing else that's on TV right now. Crash, a new original series, premieres October 17th on Stars.